So good morning. This is day three, uh, leaving from Killa. Today I'm not making the early morning start. The time is around eight. That was the hotel I was staying in. Did wake up, uh, woke up around uh, five thirty. But yeah, the idea was to have just proper breakfast because yesterday's experience was quite something uh, because of no tourist. Uh, and all all the small shops have shut down even the such pass the small dhaba that they had there that was also shut so today i am well fed and marching on himalayan is a champ of handling these kind of terrains man i have no doubt it surprises me every single time so as for the usual stuff what i did uh, last night i mean i just adjusted the chain a bit lubed the chain took out the air filter just stabbed it uh, a few times would have been good if i could go get some uh, uh, pressurized uh, air blown but uh, that was not available so just tapping got some of the debris and some of the dust out this is going to be interesting So have come, I mean have descended a bit, coming at the level of the river almost. I'm not sure whether it is going to keep going down or whether it will rise up again. I mean the altitude wise. And I'm not even sure how much kilometers it is. I mean I checked it last night. But I get very dumb with it <laughs> when I am in the mountains. Just yesterday, I was checking it, and today I have forgotten completely. Yeah, that looked like a steep one. Twenty thirty-five Udaipur, fifty-eight. Okay, we can do it. Edge didn't look like much while coming from that side. That is where I've come from. But once you come here, and if you're coming from uh, Kelong side, you can see. And this uh, keeps even you know getting uh, better and even more scenic once you cross Kilar and go towards Kishtwar. Now this year uh, Kishwar is closed because of corona <laughs> because that's in Jammu and they are still adhering to strict corona rules so anyways let's march on Oh That's not what I want on the visor. Hopefully, we'll sail through. Let's take it from this side. Okay, it's deep. Oh, it's very deep. I chugged along nicely. Yeah. 
That was not bad. This is where I just took a little bit of break. Not a bad place, is it? The truck has just arrived. Yeah, so the work is still going on. And there is the river. Ah, sweetness. Let's carry on. Yeah, take it from the outside. Yeah, that's nothing. Absolutely nothing. So just crossed the checkpoint, forgot to ask the name of the place, but a small hutman kind of few government police, uh, small, uh, yeah, what, I mean, settlement. So as you can see, mountain tops have been covered with a blanket of clouds and that's the road. And Udaipur is uh, seven, eight kilometers from here. Time? Uh, I'm not too sure about the time. Let me first see what the road is like. Then I'll look at the speedometer. Yeah, there you have it. So time is 12.30. Another half an hour, so by one I should, I mean, hopefully, I should be in Udaipur. Oh, that came all of a sudden. No problem, time to cool down the bike. And wash the chain. Yeah, that ought to do it. Welcome by a dust storm. Can't see much, that's a different thing. So yeah, it's kind of raining still. Roads are also kind of wet. But let's see, that must be there though. So I'm just going to have a quick... Uh, Coffee break. I'm not feeling hungry as such, but I'll see if I can eat something light and then carry on to Kelong. Okay, my bad. This is not Udaipur. Udaipur is four or five kilometers still ahead. This is just some small village. I forgot to ask the name. But uh, yeah, another four or five kilometers. I don't think uh, there is a need to put on the rain gear as of right now but we'll see just about uh, 200 meters back uh, the tarmac started Udaipur is now two kilometers and I think from here till Kelong uh, the roads are mostly tarmac so that means uh, it's one o'clock we'll march on towards uh, Kelong that should not take long so yeah, so this is the small town Udaipur and I am actually searching for an ATM. I'm sure they would have hotels, not staying put here. Okay, there is the ATM. So there is no fuel pump in Udaipur. As I said, I was carrying three liter extra. Bike has just decided to get into reserve. Next petrol pump is 44 kilometers at Tandi.
so long. Okay. Just look at it. Where am I? I mean, whoa, this was good. This is good beginning of a journey. <laughs> we have to head to place called Tandi Pul which has the fuel bunk but look at the scenery my goodness ah I'm feeling too cold too too cold I'm feeling too lazy to actually stop I'll just stop at the fuel bunk and uh, put the liner back Let's get some fuel first. And there you have it, the Tandi pull. Okay, yeah, so on the right way, two kilometers ahead, we would have the fuel bunk. Tandi fuel bunk. Now, this is an important fuel because if say you were headed to Leh this is until you get to I mean I don't remember the name of the place but yeah for next three four hundred kilometers you won't have any fuel bunk